Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about bimetallics. One of the key differentiators between friction welding and other welding techniques is the ability to join to similar metals. Two different materials that may not be able to be joined by other techniques. Typically we can use any other friction welding technologies to accomplish this. One example is this linear friction welded heat plate where we have copper joined to aluminum. We want the heat transfer properties of copper, but copper doesn't mount to other surfaces very well or very rigidly, so we weld it to the aluminum so the aluminum can be used as a mounting surface. For electrical conductivity, we can use two different types of copper. You have a softer cap copper alloy, which is much less expensive, welded to a harder copper alloy, and you only put that hard copper alloy where you need it, where there's going to be wear characteristics. Another example might be a submersible uh, motor pump, where you have a bimetallic motor shaft. You need the ma magnetic properties of a, of a carbon steel, but you need the corrosive resistance properties of a stainless steel. Another example might be a bimetallic motor uh, or engine valve, where you have a wear resistant alloy and a heat resistant alloy that are welded together. Another application for welding bimetallics would be transition joints for rockets, where it's absolutely critical that you need a leak-proof joint between two different materials. Instead of making a mechanical joint, you can use friction welding, even for materials like aluminum and inconel. Another application, these end up being two different steels, a gear steel and a more standard steel. Here, you don't want to manufacture this part as an assembly. It's much easier to cut the, cut the gear teeth before welding, weld the two different materials together, as opposed to trying to machine this gear out of an assembly. Friction welding of bimetallics allows me to put the expensive material only where I need it, so I can make a cost-effective, high-performance part. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. To see more examples of bimetallic parts that have been friction welded, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.